shoes strapped, harness clipped, and headphones on. Once the ropes are in place, Leah Grosjean is ready to get on the wall. The belay is on. All right, climb on. Climbing. I'm going to go back and rework it at that part that I kept falling to try to figure out what's, what's happening with my technique. It's a hard sport, but her determination is what helps her cling to the holds. I don't, I don't tend to, like to let fear control what I do. While most climbers can see each hold on their route before they start, <laughs> Leah has a few extra challenges to overcome. She was born completely blind. Uh, I have light perception only. So when I climb, I climb completely in the dark, unless there's you know just a random happen to be a glimpse of sunshine or something, and it's like, oh, okay, cool, we got light perception today. Leah has Lieber's congenital amaurosis, a rare genetic disorder that doctors said would leave her blind for her entire life. In 1988, I was like one of 3,000 people who had it. Today, the Cleveland Clinic says fewer than 50,000 people in the U.S. live with LCA. Leah's mom brought her to church as a child and prayed for her sight. For about five years, she got partial sight back, enough to learn how to read and write, but by 15, she had lost all functional vision. It never slowed me down. It just was just an you know, it's a character trait. It, it's like blue eyes, brown hair. It's not a, it, for me, it's not a disability. Leah's never let her vision keep her on the ground. A lot tired, a lot of sweaty, and very determined. Leah has scaled heights, securing a position on the U.S. Paralympic climbing team. She trains for hours every day to prepare her for competitions. One more move. That's it. We just move one more move. Yeah, we got this. Her story continues to inspire others. I don't normally like to be the center of attention but then I do center of attention things <laughs> because they're fun, not necessarily for the glory. We. Now there might be a question you're all asking. Climbing is hard enough when you can see what's on the wall. So how does Leah do it without her eyesight? That's where her collar comes in. Down on the ground, David has one of the hardest jobs. He acts as Leah's eyes, walking her through every move until she reaches the top. David Cry's job is teaching outdoor sports, but this has been a learning experience, even for him. <laughs> All right, Leah, that's your foot. That one's off. You're gonna start just leaning left. So right foot, another foot up here. Trying to read the route and then give commands that work for them. Also trying to cater to Leah's style a little bit too, which is different than mine. And it doesn't always work, right? My technique and movement is different. And sometimes the way I approach something doesn't work. Uh, for Leah. Bump that right hand up one. There you go. If he miscalls something, yep. it leaves Leah hanging, literally. When I'm not on my game, Leah's having a hard time being on her game. To understand what Leah is up against, he's climbed with a blindfold before. Which is fun, but it's just an insight to a little bit of what Leah goes through every day. But being able to open your eyes and take that blindfold off is a safety blanket he says we take for granted. And Leah's just living life with a uh, a little bit more challenging than a lot of us have to deal with, but it makes it seem um, easy. And just a little bit, out, 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 up, 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 right there. Good. But going to the Paraclimbing right. National Championships yep, right was there, a new yeah. experience yeah, for both of them. When Leah's competing, I get to look at the route a little bit in advance, right there, but I can't climb it. Right up, right there. Yes, left foot out one. There you go. As her eyes, he I'll sees the looks of weapon. awe when Leah does the impossible. Most times we climb, I think there's, if you look around, there's always someone kind of like, you know, watching like, oh, what's going on? Their friendship goes beyond the wall, and so does his pride nice in her. This is something she was really excited and passionate about and trying to pursue this uh, uh, new thing and new goal. And, um, and I'm just happy to be along for the ride and, and help and support in whatever way I can, really. <laughs>